Hi everyone, today I am going to explain about the topic changing nature of the software. In general, human beings also changing their nature according to the situation in which place they are like that. Software is also everywhere and anywhere. It keeps on changing from one situation to other. There are seven categories exist in changing nature. In that first one is system software. System software is a collection of programs written to provide services to the other programs. The examples for system software are compilers and editors. And second one is application software. Application software is particularly designed to help to use it to perform a specific task like C, Java, MS Office. In MS Office also we are having three categories MS Word, PowerPoint and Excel. Word we are using only for documentation purpose. In Excel we are doing number of calculations. Using PowerPoint we can create number of PPTs related to our data. And third one is engineering and scientific software. It is used for complicating numeric calculations. If we are having any complicating numeric calculations for that purpose we are using engineering and scientific software. Example is calculus and statistics. Coming to fourth one embedded software. Embedded is nothing but one within the another. So general meaning for the embedded software is it lies on the hardware of the system and use it to control the functions like your microwave oven. It is a hardware device but we can adjust the temperature number of functions exist in microwave oven. Those are uh, already inbuilt by the software. So microwave oven is the best example for embedded software. And fifth one is product line software. Product line software provides the specific capabilities for software engineering. Uh, best example for product line software is computer graphics and DBMS. DBMS is nothing but database management system. We can create number of databases to store large amount of the data. Sixth one is web application software. By the name itself it is saying it is an application software related to web. Means we, we have to use if anything we have to use over a network. Then we have to choose web application software, nothing but for creating websites. Uh, best example for this web application software is HTML, hypertext markup language. And coming to last one, artificial intelligence software. Artificial intelligence software is used to non-numeric algorithms to solve complex problems. Mm. Nowadays, uh, all are using this artificial intelligence software in robotics and implementing gaming softwares. All gaming softwares are developed by using this artificial intelligence software only. So, this is about changing nature of the software. Means, software also changing its nature um, based on the which software we are going to develop. There are seven categories, system software, application software, engineering and scientific software, embedded software, product line software, web application software and artificial intelligence software. I think you are having an idea about what is meant by changing nature of the software. In our next video, we will discuss about the software myths. How many types of myths are there? What are they? Okay, thank you for watching this video till the end.